Hello everyone, this is another tutorial. I decided to make another one because I got an interesting, well, not an interesting question, but I got a, a valid question and um, a challenge, uh, channel comment um, from someone called AOF84A. And it was asking about how, you, how the fuck you install Pizza Tycoon. So I am going to show you. It's not something that's easily translated into text, so I decided the best way to do it would be to make a video. I must have a, a tutorial bug or something because I mean I've started I've started branching out into somehow spreading wise words which aren't really that wise uh, an important crap wisdom upon the minor masses so first thing that you need is software called DOSBox now what DOSBox does is it emulates DOS for Windows and all other OS's um, because Pizza Tycoon is a DOS game, so therefore it won't run on operating systems these days. So you need to use DOSBox. DOSBox works on every like all DOS games, not just Pizza Tycoon, which is also very good if if you're a, like an avid DOS gamer. As you can see, you've got your yeah, Windows, you've got your Linux, you've got your Mac, and then you've got like other less lesser operating systems like Debian, Fedora. Um, RISC, things like that. Uh, so the current the current version at uh, this time, uh, the time of recording is 0.74. It's been like that for a while, and I don't think it'll change for a while. But you never know. Uh, so just download whichever one applies to your system. I'm not actually going to download it and install it because then that'll raise all the settings that I've got on my DOS box. But um, I will. Uh, I'll show you the options first because DOSBox, when you install it, comes with this option folder. And what that option folder does is at the very button has an auto exec section. And as you put it in the section, we'll be running startup. And I'll actually delete that and show you what happens without it first. And then I'll talk you through why I've put what I've put. So basically, you've got your Z. It starts off at Z. Z is um, where you, it's wherever DOS is, I think. Basically, you shouldn't. Nothing should be in Z. Z is useless for all intensive purposes. So, what you do, you type in mount C C slash, and then like whatever your subfolder is. I'll, for for example, for intensive purposes, I know it tells you not to do it, but I'll leave it at this. It'll flash up a warning saying use a subdirectory. Right. So, because if I can get my DOS, um. My DOS folder is in C DOS, and there's all my games. I've got like Oregon Trail, Pizza Tycoon, and North and South. That's like at risk, but with um, this American Civil War, um, Sim Farm, Rockstar, The Incredible Machine, Clan Vodder 2, which doesn't really run well on my machine for some reason. So, anyway, what it does is you go C, oop, with the colon, and basically what that is. It's although it says C, and you would think that it's just the main C drive. Well, it is in this case, actually. But um, go CD, which is change directory. It goes into subfolders. I'm not sure how you get up out of a folder, but you don't really need to do that if you do everything right the first time. And obviously, it won't let you go into a subfolder that doesn't exist. So CD DOS, and now I'm in the DOS folder. I'm actually going to delete them because they're getting annoying. Right, DOS. And so now I'm in this folder. So if I wanted to play Pizza Tycoon, which is what the question was for, I'll go CD PT. Now, if my memory serves as correctly, the default download was called Pizza, but I've renamed it to PT for brevity, so it's easier to type in because I'm lazy. So anyway, I'm now in the PT folder, and you see you've got all these folders and you need the AXE which would run the game not install the game run the game um, which would be PT again I think that was called pizza in the default download if my memory serves us correctly and I've just renamed it PT you can rename it whatever you want um, so if I type in just PT and that loads it up simple as that can it be any easier really and yeah so that's pizza tycoon all loaded up I'm going to close up right um, I'm going to show you what happens with this in. I'm actually going to move them up a little bit. So, what that does is when 
now loaded up, it will automatically execute whatever is typed in there. So what it's doing there is it's mounting C to C slash DOS. So although then it's switching to the C directory. So although it says C there, that's actually in C slash DOS. Like ignore what it says there. Just imagine it's like think about it like math. It's like say X equals five, C equals C slash C slash DOS. So every time that you see the C, it's actually meaning that. It's just for brevity. So I'm actually in the DOS folder, so I could go CD and then into a subfolder of DOS, like, um, I don't know, Rockstar. Rockstar. See, now I'm in the Rockstar folder. That says C slash Rockstar, but if you notice in my C drive, there is no Rockstar folder. It's actually because it's in C slash DOS. So if I go into Rockstar, I can see that the application is called Rockstar. So if I type in so I should note that capitalization isn't isn't important either. Um, so then it loads up Rockstar. Um, this is a really fun game actually. I might do a let's play of it in the future. Not at the moment. And probably not a very long one because I have a tendency of going into a depression spiral, sl slashing my wrists, going into hospital, getting addicted to drugs and dying. <laughs> so any game that lets you do that is a good game in my eyes. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And uh, where is? So if I load up DOSBox again, like I say, mount C C slash DOS. The easiest way to go about it is to do the DOSBox settings. Um, I think they, I think I've shut them actually, which is no, no, there they are. Plan and fail. <laughs> I just sort of jumped into it head first. I didn't, I didn't really anticipate what I was going to see. I'll just ad lib it. So yeah, whatever you type in there, it gets executed on the like um, thingy. I would, if you're going to uh, download um, DOS games, I would recommend them keeping them organised because I mean, it only takes a second when you download something to put it in a subfolder, and it saves you so much time in the long run. I would really recommend having a, um, a DOS specific folder like this in, in easy to access locations such as in C slash DOS or wherever you feel like. Uh, the reason that I've actually made a tutorial now and just redirected people to a different tutorial is because um, they only set it up to play one specific game. It's sort of like the setup that I did have with Pizza Tycoon before I started downloading other games. And what they had is just like DOS slash PT. So like when you would load up uh, DOS box, it would navigate straight to that games directory and so all you had to do was type in PT to load up the game. It, they didn't show the CD command, the change directory command, which I thought was really important to show. But I must bear in mind, I only checked about one or two of them because I sort of wanted to make the tutorial. But if there was one that went over the same ground as I did, then I didn't see any point. But uh, the ones that I checked didn't cover the CD command, which is very important in my eyes. I mean, if you've got a massive folder, I mean, I mean, you, the free games, you, like I got most of my games off of Bandonia. I mean, you've got like Abandonware, you've got Shareware, you've got Freeware, you've got Underwear, <laughs> and <laughs> um, so yeah, like basically, I mean, um, the free to download the. Um, no copyrights on them. Abandoned wares being abandoned, so therefore the copyrights have expired. I think. Don't hold us to that one. If you're a lawyer, then don't sue us. <laughs> I hold no responsibility for your involvement with the law. But I, I mean, if it's abandoned, I don't think we'd be going to be chased up any copyright if it still applies. Um. So yeah, that is how you wait well, use DOSBox and Pizza Tycoon is sort of like a sub thingy of DOSBox. Um. So yeah. I hope you enjoy DOS gaming and I will see you in the next tutorial, I do believe. Um, if you've got any further queries about how to use Pizza Tycoon, uh, not Pizza Tycoon, if you have, how to use DOSBox or anything to do with setting up DOS games or anything, I mean I'm in no means an expert but I can get by. Uh, then just uh, add a comment or shout it as I use telepathy or send Morse code or whatever. Um, if you've got anything else that you would like us to show how to do, if I know how to do it, I will certainly do, try to do a tutorial. And if I'm comfortable with it as well. Um, 
And by comfortable, I don't mean like in an awkward situation, like uh, stripping off on a webcam. <laughs> stripping off on a webcam, yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean like something that I'm experienced in. Uh, I would rather do that. <laughs> and I don't mean that I'm experienced in sw uh, stripping off on a webcam either. That's, uh, that's something I've certainly never experienced. I've certainly never tried and don't really want to try either. <laughs> I'd rather keep my clothes on, thank you very much. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the world would enjoy that too. Um, so yeah, if I know how to do it and I'm comfortable doing it, then I will do a tutorial about it. If not, I'll probably say, no, can't do it, won't do it. Um, does not compute. So yeah. This is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it informative. I certainly haven't. <laughs> but hey. Uh, uh, I will see you in the next one, if there is a next one. So until then, farewell.